Hello everyone, I'm back with another quick Daz 3D tutorial. On this one I'm going to be uh, discussing a camera setting, um, specifically how to focus the cameras on either near-field near or far-field objects. Um, I've already got a scene set up and I've got two models in it that are complete and ready to go. I've also gone ahead and put in my light source, which is a plane up here. Um, to see how I did this, uh, check out my previous video, I'll go ahead and put a link in it to the description on how to use a, um, a primitive object as a lighting source. Um, and all I did, I did the same steps in that video, but on this one I made it quite a bit larger and I've left the color on white instead of turning it to blue. So as you can see when I do, um, I'll go into uh, eye ray view in a moment and you'll be able to see how it looks on the characters. But uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new camera and I believe it's already about in the position that I want it. Let me go ahead and double check that. Yeah, let me adjust it just a little bit. So I want to have them both kind of, both of the models kind of close to the same area, but uh, just one of them further back. Yeah. About right there should do just nicely. So I'll go ahead and go to eye ray view and uh, we'll see what that uh, lighting source looks like. So in my uh, previous tutorial on the lighting or the uh, primitives as a lighting source, I was going for kind of a moonlight effect. This one I'm doing more of a sunlight effect. So that's why I have it um, got it further back and kind of hitting both of them as an angle at an angle. Also a lot larger so that it uh, hits more of the area as uh, sunlight would. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to set up um, two. Uh, two different camera setups, one of which has the front model in focus and one of them which has the rear model in focus. So if you wanted to draw attention to one of the models in particular, have the, the viewer's attention drawn to one of those, you can just set it to focus on that one. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my camera menu. I've already got that selected and I've got camera one selected already. And we want to be sure that we're on the camera menu here. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is, actually let me make sure my headlamp is turned off. I believe it is. I've got it on auto, let me go and set that to off. All right, and then under camera, we're gonna turn depth of field on. So it should be set to off by default. Okay, and that's gonna create kind of this extra area right here. I was messing around with it earlier, so I've already got the uh, default spot pretty close to where I want it. And the two controls that we're gonna be worried about are focal distance and f-stop. So the focal distance is basically what it says. That's just going to focus on, uh, set the distance of your focus. So if I move that uh, to the left, then it's going to be closer to the camera. And if I move it to the right, it's going to be further away from the camera. Um, and the other control, f-stop, basically controls the area of the focus. So it's going to move those two planes further away. And basically everything within those two planes should be within perfect focus and everything out of it is going to be out of focus. And the further away it is from those planes, the more out of focus it'll be. So I can adjust that by moving that back and forth. Also the f-stop will change. It'll become larger, like the slider won't move, but it'll uh, become physically larger as we move the focal distance away and smaller as we move it closer. So just be mindful of that and we want to put the model like right in between the uh, planes there and then we can adjust the f-stop to how we want it. So I'm going to try to make this pretty tight. It's okay if it kind of comes up or back a little bit because we're not going to be uh, focused on that anyway. Alright, let me go back to my camera view and I'll let that uh, load in a little bit. And I'll uh, do a couple of different renders on this in a moment. And uh, so uh, I'll export them and uh, we'll be able to see what they look like. But um, you can already see that the uh, uh, further away model is uh, far more, uh, far blurrier, or far more out of focus than the close model is. Uh, so let me go ahead and do a render on that. All right, and then to uh, focus on the model that's further away, like if we wanted to draw the viewer's attention back to her, um, let me go back to perspective view. And so now we're just going to increase the uh, focal distance. I can see her a little bit better. And as I said, it'll get, the f-stop will get wider as we move it back, or the uh, field will. So I'm just going to move that f-stop back down and tighten that up a little bit. 
increase my focal distance a little, a little bit smaller in the f-stop. All right, let's go back to camera view. And now as you can see, the uh, the closer model is uh, blurry out of focus, and we have a much clearer picture of the uh, of the model in the back. All right, I hope this was useful to everyone. It took me kind of a while to, to, to wrap my head around this one. Um, but uh, just uh, the after experimenting, and it's, it's, it becomes really intuitive after a while. So I'll go ahead and do a couple of renders on these, and we'll see what they look like. Um, if you like, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment below, and um, tell me if you'd like, to, uh, like me to cover any other topics in the future. And I might be back with more uh, tutorials if everybody likes these. Thanks a lot.